Here we go. Go to device function, settings. I'm going to go into service menu, 1967, check mark. I am going to go then to relay test. I'll click on relay test. So now I can go in here and energize individual components. We are going to go to our Dynasteam. Scroll up. Steaming unit right here is for our, our Dynasteam. Tap it. You can hear that, but we'll go ahead and get into our status bar. So tap, tap, tap. So I'm in climate control, and you can see it pulsing off and on. So I know each time I see this, I'm sending my 24 volts DC out to my steaming unit. Get back out. Stop my steaming unit. Get back out completely. And we go and look on the unit. They're actually way up in here, up above, are the connectors. And since we can't see it, we'll go ahead and go back down to the workbench. So then here you can see where we have our X31 connector. And then the voltages are going to be 24 volts DC. Now one thing to point out, uh, the majority of all your harnesses on the combi oven, your brown and white are always going to be 24 volts DC. So this here would be 24 volts DC. Uh, this here is going to be 24 volts DC. This is actually the wire that goes to the pressure sensor for my Dynasteam unit. And this is how you can use your relay test to go ahead and help you troubleshoot a combi oven. Use it with the status menu along with the relay tests can enable you to find out what components are working or not working and you can get in and make voltage checks as you know where the connectors are located from the status menu and then where they're located on the relay board. Hope this makes your troubleshooting simple.